tonight with an alert tying your sleep with your weight. It may not be how you eat, but how you sleep. Sleep experts say that an underlying disorder could be the reason that many people just can't seem to lose that nagging weight. But as Greta Cruz explains, treating it could mean losing many of those extra pounds. Rebecca McCormick says she has always struggled with her weight. My whole life had been one roller coaster of doing that. But this year, she's losing about two pounds every week. Since April, I've lost 45 pounds. A healthy diet and exercise are part of her method, but she says the key is really just breathing better. A sleep study last April revealed she had sleep apnea. Her airway was blocked when sleeping, causing her to repeatedly stop or pause breathing. The sleep technicians said that I had been waking an average of 22 times an hour. You know, sleep expert Larry Twersky says the condition makes it extremely hard for somebody to lose weight. Because the body can't uh, shed the pounds that it needs to because it can't get into restorative sleep. Symptoms include daytime fatigue, snoring, and waking up gasping for air. It was scary because, I mean, I would hear her gasping and I would roll over and say, Rebecca, are you okay? McCormick started using a machine to maintain positive air pressure to keep her airway open while she was sleeping. The first time I woke up, I realized that I had been asleep for five hours. I literally started crying because that's the longest that I could ever remember having slept as an adult. Since then, she says her life has completely turned around. She sleeps eight hours a night, doesn't snore anymore, and has the energy to work out every day. I sleep soundly. Many times I don't wake up at all during the night. Motions have stabilized. I'm back to being a positive and energetic person. Tversky says people who can't lose weight with diet and exercise alone might indeed have an underlying sleep disorder and should consult with their doctors about getting tested. Greta Cruz, ABC 7 News.